In the early 1900s, gaps in educational opportunities between blacks and whites was the norm, separate and not equal. To narrow this gap, Rosenwald schools were built. They were constructed better and were more accessible for African Americans. Coming to this two-room school, I'll never forget it. It was the best years of my life, and I'll never forget any of it. Because of what I was taught here and learned here, I moved on up. The schools were called Rosenwald because they were partially funded from grants from the Rosenwald Fund, established by Julius Rosenwald, an Illinois businessman and philanthropist. In Virginia, Rosenwald helped fund 382 schools and support buildings in 79 counties. Most of these buildings remained in operation until Virginia was forced to comply with the United States Supreme Court's decision in Brown versus Board of Education, which outlawed racial segregation in public schools. 